Matapos talunin ng ating pambato na si Nonito Donaire ang British undefeated fighter na si Ryan Burnett noong 2018. Ay agad naman na naikasa ang sumunod na laban nito kontra sa pambato ng Amerika sa bantamweight division na si Stephon Young. Ang laban na ito ay elimination para sa final ng World Boxing Super Series. Ito ay isang malaking hamon sa ating pambato na si Donaire. Sapagkat dahil semi-final na, ay pahirap na din ang pahirap ang kalaban, kumpara sa mga nagdaang laban nito. Dagdag pa rito, ang makakalaban nito na si Stephon Young ay nasa kalakasan ng kanyang prime, na noon ay may edad na 29 anyos, may ring record na labing walong panalo, ito dito ay nakuha via knockout at nag-iisang talo lamang. Samantalang ang ating pambato na si Donaire ay mayroon ng edad na 36 anyos. Ngunit gayon paman, ay hindi naging hadlang ito upang makuha ni Nonito Donaire ang tagumpay. Nang tapusin ito si Stefan Young sa pamamagitan ng pamatay na left hook nito sa loob lamang ng round 6. Narito at ating panoorin ang highlights ng kanilang bakbakan. Pero bago tayo magumpisa, kung ngayon ka lang napadaan sa ating channel, ay huwag kakalimutan mag-subscribe upang updated ka sa mga latest trends sa mga Pinoy boxer. And we are underway! For this WBA Bantamweight Championship, Nonito Donier that he has to avoid. I saw him in a couple in the pre in the pre-fight interview, and he said, "No, look at this fight exactly the way that he approached the Tay Tay fight." Nice right hand to the body by Nonito Donier. First time this is the first time he has fought for gold, and they both exchanged nicely off the clock. But you can see the power right there with Nonito moved Young across the ring. When Onito Donye has fought some high-level competition here, Chinian beat Jorge Arce as well. I mean, what a career. And still has that fire to continue to fight at this high level of price fight. Against the Southpaw, doing a great job so far, much like he did against Rhythm, and throw those power shots that he's known for. We'll see if Stefan Young, who was trained by Herman Schultz, trains quite a bit of quality fighters, including Luis Ortiz. Yeah, and that's what he has to do. He has to throw something. Yeah, he's just walking forward. Well, Donaire is cutting off the ring. Final moments of our opening stanza here between Donier and Stefan Young. Beating this tournament from moving forward. A absolutely, and that's what you got to do. That's why you hold guys in that. Zolani Tete was not able to fight in this fight, but there's that left hook Young, but that was across the ring. And you can look right here, boom! Hits him with that oh, left balance, and look at the body shot that he hits him with. But that's the well, Donier has been there, done that over and over and over again. for a guy that was two and a half inches taller than me. I prepared for a guy that had a four inch reach advantage fighter than Tete. Well, but if there is a fighter or experience he's been in high level situations for quite a while. A absolutely, and that's why he said it would be. Stefan no Young, as we talked about early in the broadcast, he is. I think about seems because right now Donaire is not thinking about anything. He's just coming right to him. That left hand that he just threw, that's what he has to do in order to keep Donaire on. St. Louis has been a home for the Sphinx family, Michael and Leon and Corey as well. Leon son, only loss coming to Stefan Young's dossier was to 21-year-old Ray Filipino boxing. He was down in the third. He says, well, it feels great because now I'm fighting guys my size. Well, and as you get older, there's a left hand that connives in and the discipline that Donier has to be able to get tell back. You what, from a guy who weighs about 225 pounds now, <laughs> it is hard to get back down to your planet. And there is no need to get some of the action from the second. Here is Stefan Young showing some success. Yeah, he surprised no needle right there. And that's what I'm saying. He's got a hand, then follows it up with the hook. That's exactly what you're supposed to do if you're a southpaw, not expecting that combination. Final. And Stefan Young as Donier is developing a mouse up underneath his left eye. Underneath the left eye of Nonito Donier. And another straight left that was partially blocked. Right referee who's been in many championship matchups as the referee. Right hook that connected. And Young seems to be finding his rhythm. We saw evidence of that in, in towards the table. moving now. He's sitting more in the pocket. He's willing to trade with Donaire. Is that a smart thing? I don't his think it is. movement in order to keep himself not as easy of a target because Young is finding a home for that straight left. It's finding its mark 
for Stefan Young and to grow with this being his first world title shot opportunity there could be doubt in the mind. I think gave him a lot of confidence with the right hook. He's like hey listen man I can hit him with things so now why don't I just stay here. In the playoffs for the first time in the NBA <laughs> yeah. and you're taking on the end of the first quarter mentally you think I can hang with this team and we do at any point. Well, no question. It's still a past two rounds. Donier, though, looking to assert himself once. Good yep. and flow action. There's a big right here. And that buzzed Young. And Young seems to be staggered for a brief moment. That's not man. He can't be there. He's got to get off those ropes. Round three. That's coming. There's Herman Casado in the corner of Stefan Young. With Donier throws a straight right hand. Well, there's Stefan oh, Young. Stephon with Young. That. But here it is right here. Double jab, followed up, blinds Boom. him, hits Young him. was lit up with that right hand, but it was set up, Kendall Howe, with the double jab. With, with the double and jab. And that's exactly what Donaire did in that last round. And Stephon Young Fourth got round compared to the second and the third round Tried to make Stephon Young uncomfortable. Great champions and, and, and elite fighters, Don't they have want your opponent to become dangerous. Obviously, a world title is up for grabs, but also a berth to the final. Of the world to faint and set. once again, nice uppercut. Hit him. And Donier is looking to add in a left hook that connects. Stephen Young blinking that, that left, that right eye is really bothering him at this point. Really thinking and trying to observe and get away from the big punches of Nonita. Nonito Donier with a 50. Stefan Young going back to the corner, and he has. You can see him walking forward, boom, throwing that uppercut, coming right between the gloves, leaning forward, which sets him up perfectly for that left uppercut right there. And he did no need to do near him. And there's Stefan Young answering back, though. But And that's exactly what champions do. He tried to catch it and shoot, but he wasn't able to catch it, but the shoot near. Donier. Stefan Young, Donier, the champion. And Donier starting off and going right to the body of Stefan Young to start the in a row. And it looks like he's just going to try to go after Stefan Young at this point and try to. Some deep waters. The question is, can he survive and keep himself Stand afloat? His at some point and not let Nonito continue to come forward and pot shot. There's a jab followed by a right for Donier. And you know, he's trying well, to make Nonito Donier to respect him because Nonito Donier continues to walk forward. One, a good defense does Donier. He is an uppercut. That backed up and snapped the head back to Young. I think Donier knows. And also, Kendall. Oh, there's oh, a nice big counter shot. shot. Young sat down in his punch and he landed. Well, if you cannot count out Stefan Young and take a look at the punch stat numbers. And and there's an uppercut. He's fighting, he's fighting a four-time world champion. <laughs> and he's coming out of his own. You cannot question the heart of Stefan Young. And there's the a right. stay in the center of that ring. He's backing him up to the ropes again. That's exactly Ryan Burnett in his previous fight. Nice shot by Young. And as we in, Stefan Young. Up, be smart. And let's take a look back at some of the work from the fifth round. Here is Donier stepping Young through a right hand, but there's that right uppercut jarring the jaw of Stefan Young. Yeah, right it's uppercut. uppercut. Donier knows that uh, shot is there, but you see it's Stefan Young right there. Going he can't walk in without his defense. A shot just so that he can get Young comfortable. You see, 36 years old, four time world champion, so he knows all the tricks of the trade. And you know what is interesting, Kendall, is guys in the lighter weight classes, I'm talking about 30 on, you're considered an old man. Right. Right. And the fact that Donier is 36 years of age, 18, a world champion at 18, right. that is. Weight classes, 36 years old, most guys don't have all of that left. But Nonito Donier. Look at a lot of the audience and say that Nonito Donier did when he was 22. Right. But he has gotten smarter. Placement of him is calculated. And there's a reason for why he does what he does. like the Filipino thunder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> at I this like point. <laughs> we'll see if 
Donier has certainly been throwing quite a bit of thunder at Von Young, something that has been absent from his repertoire. You, know, you got to give it to Stefan Young. Listen, he, he he's biting down. He knows that he's down in this fight. He's going down, sitting down and trading shots. Once again, as you can see him connecting right Donier there. cannot get too comfortable because Young certainly has quite a bit of You know, Kendall, having been inside the ring, the punches that are the most dangerous are those... Put your earmuffs on, because you can't see that shot coming. And they're not... Earmuff defense was that, and you mentioned him earlier, Winky Wright. Winky Wright, There are yeah. not many guys to be able to evade. And there's oh. a back up there. Down goes Young on a thunderous left hook! And they're yeah. talking about Nonito Denaire has this 118. Everybody better watch Good it. night, Stefan Young! No need to my goodness! And now, we await, we hope that Young is okay, he's moving. Yeah, and Nonito Denier showing concern for his opponent. What a gentleman. But listen, you, you gotta give it to Stefan Young. He came Talk down Talk about a candidate for knockout of the year here in 2019. Oh my. We talk about his power at 118. Yeah, he, he carried some power up to 122 and 120. As you can see right here, he comes back with the level. Bam! Boom! Hit him Good right night. on the chin. And that Good was it. Night. Look, and Stefan Young left his chin in the air, waited too long. Boom! Sure did. Night, night. In the fundamentals, you can see right here. Nonito Denaire sees the open shot. Boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was. He was, he out was he unconscious before his back. Nonito Donier getting an emphatic knock on Young. Unbelievable. Uh, but what a great performance by Donier. His division, as you can see right here, he comes back with the level. Bam! Boom! Hit him Good right night. on the chin. And that Good was it. Night. Look, and Stefan Young left his chin in the air, waited too long, boom! Sure did. Night, night! In the fundamentals, you can see right here, Nonito Donaire sees the open shot, boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was. He was, he out was he unconscious before his back. And, and I can tell you, 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 can see the, you can see the concern about of Donaire. As you can see right here, he comes back with the level, bam! Boom! Hit him Good right night. on the chin! And that Good was it. night! Look, and Stefan Young left his chin in the air, waited too long, boom! Sure did. Night, night! In the fundamentals, it's you can see night. right here, Nonito Donaire sees the open shot, boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was. He was, he before was he unconscious before his Of uh, the seventh round for your winner by knockout, and still the WBA Bantamweight Champion of the World, moving on to the final of the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight Tournament, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire!